Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we continue to follow the saga of the living man known as Eric Martin as he uh, files a motion of discovery and, uh, well, accuses the judge of, a, well, being a fraud. Yeah, quite typical of a uh, Sovtard who himself is trying to defraud everybody around him, including the government, to call the judge a fraud. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. All right, Mr. Martin, good morning, sir. Ms. Manorino, good morning. Good morning, Your Honor. All righty. This is case 231510OT. And uh, today, date and time set for a settlement conference. Parties uh, have an opportunity to discuss the matter. Good morning, Your Honor. Angela Manorino on behalf of the people. Your Honor, I did have an opportunity to hear Mr. Martin's position on the issue while we were in the breakout room. Um, he requested that I dismiss the case. If people are unwilling to do so, we would ask that the court set this for a trial. Of course he wants to dismiss the case. He's been trying to dismiss the case since day one because he feels like the laws don't apply to him because he's the living man and not the corporation. But you know what? So far that argument hasn't held water, hasn't worked, and he's still trying it over and over again. Uh, I believe that's the colloquial definition of, well, insanity. So, we've already had the motion to dismiss. Get the uh, and this is the uh. Motion on the demand for the body cam footage is out, correct, Mr. Martin? Yeah. That's one of the things I recently filed amongst some others. Yep, yeah, go ahead. All right, so this is a, is there body cam footage, Ms. Manorino? Your Honor, I believe there is, and if the court wants to enter a discovery order in this matter, um, I think that would allow Mr. Martin to have access to the video that he's taken. All righty, so let me just make sure that there's... Cam. Right, so I will enter the order uh, for discovery. And then, Mr. Martin, you can uh, request that from the, once you get a copy of the order, um, you can request that from the, from the PD. Now, as far as the uh, as far as the moving forward goes, because obviously Mr. Martin's going to need to watch the video to further whatever prepare for his case. So, we just are we setting this for a uh, jury trial, bench trial, or a settlement conference? I'm not clear about what you said about the discovery. You just said something about I can get it from the PD after an order. So, I'm not clear on what you're saying. This is why you need a lawyer, dumbass. In fact, you should have had a lawyer the whole freaking time. It might have saved you some uh, headache because at least they would know how to handle discovery. Speaking of which, since you are concerned about discovery, you know where you get the discovery from? The prosecution. Because if they have the body cam footage, they're obligated by the law to hand it over to you so you have time to build your defense against their uh, prosecution. It's part of your due process, moron. I can't tell you how to practice law, sir. So I can't tell you how to go about that. I'm, I'm going to enter an order for discovery. All right. And then you take your steps to get the discovery. All right. I so, hear you. the order that I'd be given to it, if you're just going to tell me I can go to the records office and get it, that's not uh, providing me with the information. Stupid or something. The judge is not allowed to aid you in your case. That's what a defense attorney is 
for. Maybe you should have at least considered getting an actual attorney. You, you smooth brain paint chip eater. Someone should have cautioned you a years ago on the uh, effects of consuming uh, vast amounts of lead. But you know what? Uh, it's far too late for that anyway. I'm not telling you how to do it, sir. I'm just telling you I'm order, entering an order uh, whereby you'll be able to get the uh, gather information uh, that you need to for your case. So. All right, we'll just see when it comes in. But uh, like I said, you're just not being totally clear on uh, what's that going to be or whatever. But uh, so I can't possibly object to it now, if anything. I have to, have to wait and see what your written order says. But okay. So. So we're going to set this up for, are we setting this for a uh, bench trial, a jury trial? If need to, well, first I'm going to object to, uh, I don't think I can get a, uh, a jury, a jury trial is one by one's peers. And I don't think that's going to be able to be obtained because I doubt if I can find a jury of my peers, which would be those that who acknowledge as uh, one of the people, sovereign people. Well, first of all, uh, Thank you for admitting that your uh, breed of stupidity is quite rare in the population. Thank you very much for admitting that. Second of all, what you're trying to do is unconstitutional because everybody has to have a fair shot in their jury duty right there. I mean, you just can't select everybody who's going to be on your side. It, that's not how it works. It has to be uh, equal portions of the population and all that. I mean, it has to be a fair trial, so it can't be in favor of either side as far as the jury goes. I mean, get real, dude. Mostly everyone's probably, if not every jury member would say... That's not how it works, bud. I'm just telling you, that's not how it works. You have to get back on Google and Google whatever other story you want to come up with. <laughs> Um, Pierce just means anybody who's over the age of 18 who lives here in the city of Taylor, uh, that's your peers. We're also registered voters. Uh, that's where the jury pool comes from. That's what the, the Constitution allows for. Um, they don't have to be, when you say like-minded, that doesn't mean that they have to subscribe to some archaic form of the Constitution that isn't how it actually reads. Say what? Uh, and I'm a pure constitutionalist myself, so um, I get that. But that's not what that, that's not, that, absolutely not what it means. Not to mention, I can't tell people, and I can't exclude people from a jury pool because they have a constitutional right to serve on the jury. And that would actually be violating their constitutional rights if I asked them whether or not they subscribe to some sort of sovereign citizen theory of the constitution and then exclude them because of their beliefs that's literally unconstitutional to do that so what you're asking me to do is something unconstitutional you will have a constitutional jury of your peers as it has been declared by the united states supreme court of how that works so are you are you requesting a jury trial or a bench trial that's the simple question if i request a jury trial would it be fraudulently presumed that i'm giving jurisdiction Say again. If I request, if I say I want a jury trial, is that going to be fraudulently assumed by you that uh, you have jurisdiction over me? You're so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. First off, I already established that I have jurisdiction over you. You committed a crime in the city of Taylor. I have jurisdiction over you. Please Court does. Please. So we already discussed that part. You can uh, you can order the transcripts. From that first uh, first time when we already went through jurisdiction, if you didn't uh, if you didn't understand it from there, uh, we can you can always order the transcripts and reread it. Uh, but clearly, I already have jurisdiction. So, and I don't fraudulently assume anything. Everything I do is done because I was elected to be the judge here. I am sworn in as the judge here. I uphold the Constitution. Matter of fact, I keep a copy of my oath right here on the bench. Why? Because I, it means a lot to me. So. There's nothing fraudulent about anything that I do, sir. I will tell you this: you will get a uh, you will get a fair trial. That's, that's for sure. That's why, because that's what the Constitution requires for everybody to get. And so, if you're implying anything other than that, that's not going to happen. So, <laughs> ha, 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 ha. 
You hear that, soft heart? Did you hear his argument right there? He was basically saying that you don't know jack shit about the Constitution. I mean, obviously, you haven't read a single word of it. And that is the problem with soft hearts and frauditors alike. They are quite illiterate. Well, not entirely. They have some reading ability, but they refuse to even uh, acknowledge certain parts of the Constitution, especially uh, the 10th Amendment. Or they have, well, such a deluded opinion about the Constitution like the one JC News now had the other day, where he believed the First Amendment was the very first law of the Constitution, when it is actually Article 1, Section 1 of the U.S. Constitution that was ratified first. I mean, the First Amendment came years later. Again, jury trial or bench trial, I need to set it for one or the other, sir. Well, if I object to uh, the, the, the truth that you're asserting, I, I don't, I don't uh, agree that that's true, what you said there. Um, but sure. if uh, we're going to force the hand, like I said, uh, it's going to be a jury. Um, All right, so jury trial it is. But I'm so I'll set that. Go ahead. It's only through fraud and duress do I say that. So that's all I'm under here. Fraud and duress. Okay. Well, first off, there's nobody. Uh, there is no fraud nor duress. You're sitting in your own home. You're on Zoom. There's nobody twisting your arm. No one's holding any weapon to to you in order to necessitate a duress uh, type of thing. And um, basically, I gave you a choice. Do you want a bench trial or a jury trial? So there, it was up to you to pick. And you wanted a jury trial. There's nothing wrong with that. You have a constitutional right to set jury trial, and we'll make that happen. So again, nothing but due process and fairness happening here. So. We're going to set this for a jury trial. And you'll be receiving notice in the mail when that will be. Thank you. I'll also be mailing out a copy of the uh, scheduling order. Have a good day, sir. Uh, I'll say happy thank happy you. New Year. Yes, you always just talk. You don't give a person a response. And then you say how something ain't uh, threatened arrest. But you don't but give no, when, when I make a ruling on something, a ruling is literally there's no response to it. That's just... That's what the ruling is. So the ruling is, I'm going to set it for a jury trial. Um, your motion to for your motion for discovery is granted. I'm going to send out a, a, an order for the discovery, and um, there's really no other response needed other than uh, Happy New Year. You'll get your date in the mail for the jury trial, and you'll get a copy of the uh, order in the mail. No, that's clearly right. obvious. Fair to say there's no response. That's saying what I say is that, and that's it. There's nothing to say about it. Obviously, you don't believe in the Constitution too much because you're not giving me my due process right to say what I have to say. You dumbass, you are being given your due process. This portion of your due process was a motion. It wasn't the actual trial itself. That is where you'll get to defend yourself and say what you have to say. But of course, the judge is going to try to keep you in line, keep you from going off track. But you're still going to complain that that's not your due process right there. I'm sure of that. I mean, well, first think off, listen, listen, listen. If you're just going to, if you're just going to needlessly jabber about things that have nothing to do with anything of the case, um, you've already won your motion. So I'm not really sure what more you need to make a record on. I literally said hey we're going to enter a we're going to enter an order for discovery you request a discovery by a motion and i'm granting discovery so there's really no more record to be made other than if you want to say something like uh yay i won or something like that but um there's nothing more to add to that if it's about the facts of the case this is not the time or the place to talk about the facts of the case that's what the whole point of a trial is for and then you can prove your case to you, well, you don't have to prove anything. The prosecution has to prove their case. You can present things or you can remain silent. You have the right to do that. You can be a witness for yourself. You can do that if you choose. Um, so with regard to that, that's uh, that's how that's how we're going to proceed. And then um, so we're going to send out again the jury trial notice in the mail and you'll receive it at that point. In the meantime, okay. stay safe. Have a blessed day and a happy new year, sir. Okay, well, I'm not done yet. Oh, wait, you serious? Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> well, you're done now because the judge has other uh, cases on the docket that he's got to get to because, uh, well, judges are busy men and uh, they can't uh, cater to every softard out there who thinks that they know the laws and the Constitution and everything like that. Especially when you sit there and call them frauds and everything else in the book to try to piss them off. Yeah, they don't have time for your uh, dipshittery. So at any rate guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?